Joni ya leo na kuja hapa kutoa my own sentiments about the ongoing current affairs in our country called Kenya. Mwanzo kabisa muniruhusu nianze na kitu ambacho kinaitwa the bipartisan talks. Bipartisan talks ni ile mbinu mbadala ambayo wa Kenya waliambiwa wa kwamba badala ya kitu ambayo inaitwa handshake ya direct watu wanakutana one on one kama ni William Samoei Ruto anakutana na Raila Amolo Odinga State House wanaongea ama kare na ama hoteli wanakunywa chai and then baadaye wanasalimiana na inaisha hivyo mbinu hii mbadala inaitwa mazungumzo kutoka pande zote mbili na ina maana ya kwamba upande wa azimio la umoja nilitoa watu kama Kalonzo Msioka Steven nikatoa mtu ambaye anaitwa Opio Wandai nikatoa mtu ambaye anaitwa Eugene Wamalwa on the other hand tuko na watu ambao walikuwa wana represent team ya Kenya Kwanza government and these people are none other than upande huu tulikuwa na Kimani Ichungwa who is the majority leader of the National Assembly tukaja tukawa na madam anaitwa Cecil Barire kisa CS tukakuja tukakuwa na mtu ambaye anaitwa eh there is another fella here ambaye nimemsahau kidogo upande wa Kenya Kwanza government but so far najua kuna mtu ambaye anaitwa Cheriot here so Cheriot is also part of the team Aaron Cheriot now Uh, after two months of this bipartisan talks kulikuwa na mivurugano kadhaa huko mwanzo ya kwanza na ya pili hii ya tatu eh uh, tulianza kusikia ya kwamba watu wanataka eh uh, miswada fulani yaangaziwe others were also saying that zingine hawataki so hiyo ikaleta tashwishi kidogo kwa sababu sana sana ndugu zetu wa Kenya kwanza sai walikuwa wanaonekana kujipendelea sana hawako wanaweka matakwa ya mwananchi wa kawaida mbele ili kufanikisha pango mzima wa hayo mazungumzo ambayo yangepelekea nchi ya Kenya kuendelea na mambo yake ya kila siku kama hapo awali. Na nilikuwa nakwambia ya kwamba after two months of the bipartisan talks hizo nyamba zimeuhisisha bwana Kalonzo eh, Musyoka na kina Kimani Chungwa It is a auditor reported on ya kwamba they had spent a whopping 110 billion shillings million shillings men na ikasemekana ama ikajulikana ya kwamba hao watu huwa wanatumia ama wanalipwa kiasi cha 50,000 per city huyu ni Kalonzo Musyoka na majority leader of the National Assembly Kimani Ichungwa hao wengine kina Opio Wandai kina Barire kina Aaron Cheriot kina Eugene Wamalwa wao huwa wanalipwa kiasi cha shilingi 1440 for each and every city. Unaona watu wenyewe wanatengeneza pesa ndugu yangu. So we have no business. If at all it meant that that was the road for us to go so that we calm the country so that the economic activities the business of the day resumes then let us spend that hoping amount of money for the betterment of the country called Kenya. Eh, kuna mambo ambayo yamekuwa yanajitokeza. Last week but one kulikuwa na proposal ya kwamba hizi bipartisan talks ziongezewe muda. Na nikajiuliza hawa ndugu zetu ambao wanasimamia haya mazungumzo were they caring people? They will have left out some of the demands that I can actually wait. Wezi kuja na demand. Demand ya kusema ya kwamba ati mazungu mambo fulani zimemjua pale ama kesho kitu na demandi ya kwamba watu fulani wauzishwe then tukifuatilia tunapata ya kwamba hao watu wanauzishwa kwa mbinu ama kwa njia ya kuharibu hayo mazungumzo yasije yakakuwa successful that is bad for the country our ailing economy needs some upliftment as a and it is so unfortunate that We have leaders of the caliber of Lindi Nyoro, Mani Chungwa, who are trying to take us back every time the process speaks. Leo nimesikia ya kwamba wale kwa sababu wanalipwa pesa mingi, ni 
kuposa walikuwa wanakuja na eh dimadi ya kwamba ongezewe two months kama ile two months ya kwanza walikuwa wametengeneza 110 million kila mtu alikuwa amepeleka nyumbani karibu milioni kumi ama tisa hivi kuongeza another month it will mean that these people will have also spend another 10 million kila mtu atakuwa ameweka kwa mkono wake so wao wanaweza tamani huu muda kuongezwe watengeneze pesa mingi sisi wa Kenya tukifikiria ya kwamba wanaongeza ili waweze kupatana zaidi hayo ni makosa makubwa sana so bwana Kalonzo Steven msioka tunakuheshimu sana we ni baba wa Iji wewe ndiye tunaona uko preferred pengine unaweza replace huyu mzana anaitwa Raila Amolo Odinga na mfanyia wa Kenya kazi tukiona una lead from the front na at the same time tunakuona unaleta demands ukiwa na wenzako zenye zitaendelea kukandamiza taxpayer wa India Kenya mimi nitaona binafsi kama kunga la mwananchi president wa Nakuru kwamba hauna good way in those stocks because you cannot demand that you be added two more months and in a month the government through the taxpayer that are spending a whooping 120 billion shillings you want to finish the process after pocketing a total of 200 to 300 million shillings as we are fighting to have the subsidies be restored on important uh, commodities 300 million can be good amount of money to make sure that something goes down. Adam Gekua patriotic Kenyans, now that you have been given permission to talk a national assembly to find out to Kazi, any Kazi and Bayo Mugetolia, Mufiori to Magari Pekak. Like you know, now I'm demanding Munafiori or Magari, Munapiku or Chai, Munapeo allowance, like in at the same time, when I demand to engage a Muda in Teganese person. That is so bad. Another issue when you become up from the panel, when you hold this bipartisan talks, the issue ambayo upande wa Kenya kwanza government, we may demand that you kwamba wauusiwe, wausiche, watu ambao anaitwa the IMF. Eh? Wauzishe watu wanaitwa IMF. IMF hawa ni watu ambao wanaitwa International Monetary Fund. Na wauzishe watu wa World Bank experts. Hiyo kwangu mimi kama rais wa bunge la mwananchi la Nakuru, mtetezi wa wananchi, mtetezi wa wakenya. Naona hamuna good will pale. Naona hamuna good will in that eh Hawa watu Kenya kwanza government wanaenda kuwa coach. Kwa sababu wamesikia ya kwamba wako. Kwa sababu wamesikia ya kwamba eh, high cost of living pia imeangaziwa na inaenda kuongelewa na inaenda kuwekwa mbele. Hawa watu wa Kenya kwanza wanataka waanze kufanya nini? wanataka waanze kupanga mpango au expert waanze kukuja kutuambia kwamba right now the country is not ripe for the reduction of prices of uh, important uh, commodities or goods and services that majority of Kenyans are actually consuming wanataka walete international monetary fund department or experts waanze kuambia wa Kenya ya kwamba nyinyi wa Kenya hili swala lingekuwa ni muhimu sana liuzishwe lakini unfortunately haliwezi likauzishwa sababu sisi ndio tunaoshughulika na mpango wa ku make sure ya kwamba e, tumeongeza Kenya mkopo ya pesa ama tumewalend some money ama tumewapea grants za kuendeleza miswada ya kibinadamu kama kupunguza gharama ya maisha na at the end of it all kuna kanonzo msioka wataongezwa milioni moja moja hapo waseme ah sasa sisi pande zote mbili tumeelewana ya kwamba hatuwezi tukafanya kitu ambaye inaitwa reduction of the high cost of living kwa mwananchi wa chini ili aweze kufaidi mambo ambayo yanafanya nini yanamuhusu na kuendeleza maisha yake vizuri so this is a caution bwana william samuel ruto if you are a symbol of the national unity if you are a person who can change kenya if you are a person whom we entrusted to give you votes 
kindly don't bring mayhem during the game time. Don't come up with the strategies that are likely kulemaza shughuli mzima ya bipartisan talks. Actually, ugekuwa mtu mwaminifu ambaye wa Kenya wanapenda. Ungeita raia Amolo Dinga muonge, mumalize, muite hizo pande mbili, muamwe mbe reduce bay ya dini na hini. Muamwe kama ni kufungua saba, mufungua ama muaje. Kama ni kumpea pesa, Kenya mbezoa hongo, pea raia Amolo pesa. Mambo ya endele kama kawaida. Hii mambo ya kutuwestia time. Saimu na kuja kuingiza watu wa IMF na World Bank kwa hiyo bipartisan talks. Mimi ni mekataa. Kwa sababu watakuwa wamekochiwa, they will be coached and the moment they take up the podium, they are going to tell Kenyans why it is not going to be possible because they claim that they are the ones who provide money to the Kenyan treasury. So now that Kenyan treasury is broke because they have not given them money, they will have no avenue of implementing or seconding that idea whereby Kenyans are saying that the money should come to Mwanaindi. The subsidies should be restored on important commodities that Kenyans are actually consuming. Now, eh, hiyo na hile yambayo ni metaja kwanza. Hiyo IMF na Walibank na hile yambayo ni kinakalunzo.